Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you guys all of the amazing gifts that I got for Christmas this year. And before I jump in, I do want to make a little disclaimer that these videos are never about bragging or boasting about Christmas presents, but more so to help you if you are looking for something that's on sale after the holidays and you're looking to get some things for yourself or for your loved ones at a discount. Hopefully I can link as many of these products as I can down in the description box. So if you are looking for some more gift ideas or things for yourself, then hopefully Hopefully this video helps you out. I also love watching these videos. It's just really fun to see what everybody got for Christmas. We all have different interests. So please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Meredith and I make lots of lifestyle homemaking, cleaning, decorating videos. So please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So I'm just gonna start. This is in no particular order because I have I'm pretty sure most everything that I got for Christmas near me here. And if not, then I might have to get up and grab a couple things, but I'm pretty sure everything that I got, I have up here with me. Um, so the first thing that I'll share is actually what I'm wearing. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but I am wearing this really soft fleece. It's almost like a half or quarter zip. Is that what you call it? A quarter zip um, fleece sweatshirts and then these really comfortable black fleece sweatpants and my dad got me these and you guys know I love <laughs> to live in comfortable clothing so anytime I get loungewear that is much appreciated I also got a set of pajamas and I believe all this stuff is from Kohl's you guys also know that I love Kohl's grab a coupon and take it with you when you go shopping um, but I do need to exchange the pajamas for a slightly smaller size but anyway um, that's I think all the clothing that I got I did get a pair of gloves and this is something that I'm gonna really start doing and I would highly recommend so these are just some plain gray gloves I got these from um, these are from Target and they are the wild fable brand and I would highly recommend keeping a pair of gloves in every jacket or vest or anything that you have. If you have something with pockets, I would highly recommend having like a inexpensive pair of gloves in every single coat that you have. I have so many gloves now that I think I have a pair in every pocket of every jacket. It just really makes your life so much easier when you're running out the door. You don't have to like hunt for gloves and things like that. Just keep them right in your pocket. So I always appreciate anything that is warm and cozy during the holidays. So I'm gonna go kind of like with a theme here. I think Jack kind of had a little bit of a theme when he was shopping for me. So the first like themed item that I have are these really cute um, tea towels. And there are a set of two. And this one's just like a plain um, like patterned one that has these really cute little pom poms down here at the bottom. I really love these and think that they are so cute. And also they're really big. The other one is this one right here. But this one says, Mrs. Claus's Bakery, fresh baked cookies served nightly with ice cold milk. So these are super cute and Christmassy. I always need towels. <laughs> so that is super appreciated. And then kind of to go along with that, my mom actually got me a, um, book right here it's like a holiday cheer different sugary delicious treats kind of cookbook so there's like cookies in here different cakes and things like that just all kinds of really yummy like holiday inspired recipes and um i also got some towels that are currently in the wash otherwise i would show them to you but i got some more towels that are not tea towels they're like actual thick nice hand towels um i will insert a clip of them here and also a spatula that is currently in the dishwasher so i will insert a little clip of that and this just all kind of goes together really nice baking items and then this is something that i wanted and i'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore because i couldn't find it this was from the Target dollar spot and I know that a lot of you guys have seen this. It's just a um, cookie jar. So like the lid actually comes off and it says cookie house on the front. But Jack found this and got it for me. And every time I went to Target, I could not find it. I wanted this so bad and every time I went, they didn't have it. So I don't know how he got so lucky, but he did find this. So this is just a cute little um, decor piece that kind of goes with the baking things. And then 
Along with baking, I will also insert a clip here of our brand new Instant Pot air fryer that we got. So we actually made this purchase um, together. We decided that we wanted it. So we uh, found it on a super good deal, like well over a month ago at Walmart or on walmart.com. And we wrapped it and we have not touched it. And we just unboxed it the other night and we are literally so excited to start making things with our Instant Pot. So Jack got me a cookbook of everything that I can do with the Instant Pot. It also has, like I said, the air fryer um, attachment on it. And it's also a slow cooker, which is really nice. So lots of really good recipes in here. So I am so pumped to try out that air fryer. It's pretty big, which is why I didn't want to lug it up here to my bedroom. But I'm very excited. And then I also got, sticking with the food theme, <laughs> Um, Jack got me a little uh, binder that I can put some recipes in, which is nice because there are so many recipes that I feel like I make all the time and I'm constantly getting on my Pinterest and trying to find it. Whereas this would be a lot easier if I just had this like in my kitchen and I could just grab it when I needed it. So this is really smart. I can put just some of our easy go-to recipes in here and that's pretty much it I think for like baking and cooking and stuff. So I did really well in that department. Oh, one more thing that I forgot that is kind of like baking and cooking type thing um, is I got a pack of um, hot chocolate and I have really been so tempted to dive into this and I haven't yet, but it's all different flavors. There's peppermint, gingerbread, toasted marshmallow, hazelnut. I know that's like really bad glare. There we go but um, there's so many different flavors in here. It's just really cute packaging too. Um, and I love hot chocolate during the holidays. So I'm really excited to um, try some of these different flavors. And then I also got a set of mugs and those are in the dishwasher too. So I will insert a clip of those. I like to wash everything. If you guys can't tell, I like to wash everything when I get it before um, like I use anything, especially like clothes, utensils, anything that I would eat out of. I always want to wash before I use it. And then the next thing that I got that I'm so excited about, um, if you guys know, I have, um, I love Joanna Gaines's cookbooks. I love her entire collection at Target, the Hearth and Hand um, collection. And so Jack got me this book right here. And if you guys have never seen this book before, I feel like it's not as popular as like the cookbooks, but this is one, a great coffee table book just because it's so beautiful looking, but it is just an entire guide to decorating and creating different spaces in your home. And I had seen this a while back and knew that I really wanted it. So I'm really happy he got it for me. But there's like, if you look at the table of contents, there's a different section for each space in your house. It just kind of talks about like how to figure out what your style is and different colors and textures and patterns that goes along with those styles. And then also how to style different spaces based on, you know, what part of the house it's in. But the pictures in this book are just absolutely gorgeous. And it's a really great gift and it makes a nice little like centerpiece for your coffee table. So I'm super excited about this. Basically anything that has to do with Joanna Gaines, I love. So really excited that I got this. Okay, so for those of you who are like really into gadgets and things like that, um, my parents got this, got one for me, one for my brother and one for Jack. And I think these are so cool. So Virginia has a new law that's coming out like starting January 1st that you are not allowed to use your cell phone at all in your hand. So even if you're talking on your phone, you can't have it in your hand and talking. It has to be completely hands-free if you're using your cell phone at all. Um, and so this is a really, really awesome gift. So this is the WeatherTech brand. And I know that they have a bunch of these different types of things on Amazon. So I will link a couple options if I can in the description box. So if you're looking for a um, more affordable option, but basically it fits inside of your cup holder and it comes with all these other sizes here. So depending on the size of your cup holder, it just fits right in. And then it has a tilting option. So you can, you know, tilt it like forward and backward, however you need it. And then there is a version, I believe that extends like up or down. And then there's also um, a little thing here on the back so you can like fit your phone in and like depending on how wide See, it's like adjustable like that but really awesome gift if you know anybody that really likes tech stuff 
And um, also if you are living in a state that has laws where you're not allowed to hold onto your phone, they make so many different things to keep your phone hands-free. I currently have one that clips onto the vent, like the air vent of my car. It doesn't work super well, so I'm really excited to try this out and see if I'm able to hear people when I'm on the phone just a little bit easier. <laughs> So I also feel like this was the Christmas of board games and this isn't even all of the board games because this is just what I got for Christmas and then Jack got two board games in addition to these. So basically in total we got six between the two of us, but we got a bunch of board games because if you guys know we love game nights and we also love playing games just the two of us. We did it so much during quarantine because there was really nothing else to do and we couldn't go anywhere and so that was like our go-to date night. Make a nice dinner, play some games and things like that. So I'm going to share the four games um, that I got this year. So the first one is a Parks and Rec game. So if you guys know um, or you've ever watched Parks and Rec, it's just kind of like a themed game on Parks and Rec and um, you're basically running for president in this game and um, you know, if you're into politics and stuff, then this might be a fun game for you. And this one is ages 16 and up. So I always want to make sure that I mention this uh, game is 16 and up and it's for three to six people. So if you're looking for games for just two, I will happily link some other games down in the description box if you're just looking for like couples games. I think all of these games require at least three people. Um, and the next one is a Christmas themed one. So this is an elf themed board game. Super cute. Actually, this one is two to four players. So, um, might be fun if you have, um, a smaller family or you have kids that want to play. And this one is ages eight and up. And it's just all about like Buddy the Elf. I love like a super cute, fun, uh, simple board game. It would be great for, um, for kids if you have kids. And then the next one, they have different versions of this, but we got the family version. This is what do you meme? family edition. So there is an adult one that is a little bit more for adults. You guys know I love a good adult game, but this one is kind of for all audiences and you match up the caption with the meme. We played this one um, on Christmas with my family and it was super, super fun. This is a good one. And then we've got my favorite, which nobody really wanted to play this with me um, on Christmas, but anyway, I wasn't too offended. Um, you've probably seen this before. It's called Watch Your Mouth and you put these like plastic spacers in your mouth and it holds your mouth open really wide like in this picture here. And it's absolutely ridiculous, but you have to say all these different like phrases and things and um, people have to guess like what you're saying. And of course it's a lot harder when your mouth is super stretched wide like this. So. Anyway, really fun game. And this one is, I believe, let's see. Yeah, three to 10 players. So you can have a lot of people play this game. It's like a good group game. And then it's ages eight and up. So the other two games that we got, um, or that Jack got, I can't remember what the one was. Maybe it was Would You Rather or something like that. I don't know, I can't remember. And then he got one that's like the office themed. But anyway, we just love games. So that's always like a good um, like go-to gift if you're looking for um, something to give somebody. Also like a great white elephant gift. If you just wanna find like simple card games, you can give those. Um, but anyway, the next gift that I'm gonna share with you guys I have to very carefully unwrap. Um, so the choir director at my church um, gave me this beautiful, beautiful, I guess almost like an ornament, but I'm really kind of afraid to use it as an ornament. I'd really rather, I think, use it as a like centerpiece on my table, but I'll pull it out of here so you guys can see it. It is a beautifully glass blown, I don't, I don't even know how to describe like what this looks like. So basically on the inside is a tree and you can like kind of see the stems here. I know it's like really hard because of the glare, but there's like a tree in the middle and then all these different colored swirls and things around like the top. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's called the Tree of Enchantment. I know, Tree of Encouragement, Tree of Encouragement. And then on the inside, it talks about, um, we can achieve our goals and our dreams and conquer our barriers and things when we have people around us to support us, kind of like a tree. Um, you can lean on a tree and a tree has roots. And I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. And it does come with a little hanger, but it's really heavy. So I don't know that I would hang it like that. I feel like I'd rather set it in the middle of like a table and put some different like things around it, maybe some candles to 
make it sparkle and shine, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. And this is from a um, local store. So if you are a fellow um, Richmonder like me, or you live in the area, then um, the company, let's see if I can see it here on the box. Here is the company right here. It's a French word. I can't quite pronounce it. But anyway, that is where that is from. It is super beautiful. I love it. And then the last gift that I'm going to share with you guys, um, Jack and I both have a pair, but I'm just going to show you mine. We got some bean boots this year, and I have been wanting actual bean boots, as in LL Bean boots, um, for a very long time. And so these are the ones that we went with because he has the exact same pair. So I wanted to make sure that um, the ones that we got were you know, good for guys and girls. And so this is, um, he actually ended up picking these out himself, which is so sweet. And this is what they look like. So they have like the dark brown leather on the top and then the green, kind of like a green on the bottom. And then they're just your um, traditional like duck boots. So we have been wearing them a lot. And I will say these are the nicest boots that I have pretty much ever worn. They are so warm, so comfortable. I absolutely love them. And he's really been enjoying his too. He wears them a lot at work. He's outside all the time in his job. So he's really been loving them. But anyway, that is pretty much everything that I got for Christmas this year. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know, oh, one thing that I did forget. So we did start working on the fire pit outside in the backyard. And that is like a huge project. And we got <laughs> like the whole dugout kind of, and we started on it. But um, if you guys live in Virginia, you know, like lately it's been absolutely freezing cold. So we are going to hold off on that project until it's a little bit warmer. Everything's good for right now. Like we just kind of left the project where it is, but our plan was to kind of make that a Christmas present and to just really like do the fireplace or the fire pit up really nicely. So um, I'm going to be documenting that journey and then sharing it here on my channel. So if you guys are interested in doing a fire pit or something in your own house, then definitely be sure to stay tuned for that video because I'm documenting the entire process, but it probably won't be till like early spring that we actually end up getting it finished just because nobody wants to be outside right now digging with a shovel in like 20 degree weather. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you go. I would love to have you and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye guys.